Hey guys, it's James here. I've got Jack here. He's feeling rather sorry for himself. I think he's uh because <laughs> it's raining. He doesn't got to go to the park, and his mum's at work. So I think he's feeling rather sorry for himself. So today I'm gonna. <laughs> Hello, Jax. Hello. It's okay. Plus, he just had a little operation that uh, if you're a man, you don't uh, particularly want to have. I would have thought. <laughs> so he's feeling a bit sorry for himself. So I'd like to talk to you today about guilty pleasure movies and I have a few guilty pleasure movies and that I just thought you know what I watch them and I really like them and I don't know if anybody else has the same feeling about them so I'm just going to tell you one and you know every time it happens to appear on TV or on Netflix or it's there for me to watch I do watch it quite a lot and that was what of our Guilty Pleasure Movies is Moneyball with Brad Pitt. Uh, it might seem an unusual one, but uh, I, I support a sports team that is, doesn't have much money and is down in the dumps. And to be honest with you, they actually don't exist anymore because they have been bankrupted. And Moneyball is a story of the Oakland days and their 20 game run streak in the baseball season in America. Now, I don't know much about baseball. But I'm presuming that's pretty good and that's why they made a film about it. And you've got Brad Pitt and Jonah Hill. And they are, Brad Pitt's a GM and he's trying to figure a way out to make enough uh, of an impact so he doesn't get fired or the badger uh, on there. And Jonah Hill uses a book about baseball statistics to come up with a lot of players and they try and use it. And it does work to some extent where they get uh, a 20 game winning streak together. And I just like watching the movie. I don't know what it is, I just like it. And I think Brad Pitt's performance in it is, Brad Pitt's performance in it is really good. He plays a calm, understated police, and Jonah Hill plays a great police as well. So that's one of my guilty pleasure movies. What I'm going to make do is I'll tell you about one in each of my videos coming up. So, you still okay? So, I will uh, tell you about those. So, I'll tell you about the... Yesterday, as you might have seen, I did some movie hunting out there and uh, there was a load of box sets in the cancer research shop. I actually took them and exchanged them for store credit. And I got a little bit of store credit for that. And I, I've i kept it, to be honest. I uh, haven't spent much yet, but I have got some other pictures over the last few weeks that I haven't shown yet, which I will do now. So I picked up two or three Arrow releases. And the first one I picked up was Island of Death. And I picked this one up because I like the cover. And it's the luckiest one got their brains blown out. Mm. Director approved special edition contents. And again, it's a nice arrow release. And that's the Island of Death. I haven't actually watched it yet, but I do intend to. So, it looks good. It's got a double disc. It's got a Blu-ray. And it's got a DVD. And it's got a nice, shall we say, booklet inside. Now, see, I don't know anything about the movie. But apparently it's pretty horrific. A lot of these ad releases are ones that weren't allowed on TV, I think. So, again, that's maybe why I've never heard of it. So, again, happy to pick that up. And it says, brand new 2K restoration of the film uh, from the original camera negative. So, there you go. So, I picked that one up. The next one I'll show you that I picked up. I picked this up at a charity shop. And at first I thought it was a DVD. And I was like, oh, existential DVD. I've actually got that. But... I was thinking, it's the wrong size, it looks like a Blu-ray, and it definitely is, it's a one-on-one -on -one films copy of Existence, and I think this is a good movie too, it's, uh, is it, what's her name, oh, Jennifer Jason Lee and Jude Law, and, uh, and in it, the it's supposed to be set in the future where a, ga a games designer uh, makes a great game where you plug in with these pods, and it turns into a whole adventure for them. Welcome back, Jacks. So I picked that one up, and it's really good release. And it says two pound on the side, but I actually got it for one, so that's great. And I picked that up, and it's got the DVD and the Blu-ray and some nice artwork inside. It's also got this nice booklet in there. Again, I like when they do releases like this. Put a bit of effort in them, yeah. And this one's from One Hundred One Films, and it says there's quite a few special features on it as well. So again, I like that one too. Put it back together. It's got some nice internal artwork as well. I hope you've seen that. It's got special features. 
Brand new extras, the leader, an interview with Christopher Eccleston and Kim Newman and Ryan Moore, Blu-ray only. Uh, limited edition booklet goes, includes Enmity, Enemy of Reality, David Coleman, Cronenberg's Existence by Alex Monitz and Fabulous Your Flesh. Audio commentary by David Cronenberg and a making of documentary. So I'm really, really glad to pick that one up. I think I'm going to make this a shorter video because I like to spend a bit more time showing you things I've picked up. And I, I, see, I'll be honest with you, my recording time on my e phone is only 20 minutes, so I've got to do it rather sharply. So I'll pick up uh, another couple that I picked up and I'll show you those. I picked up this DVD and it's uh, a classic TV show that I used to watch when I was little and it's called Terra Hawks. I can remember, all I can remember for a bit is some spaceships and these little round balls attacking these squares. So I thought, I've seen this in the charity shop and it was 50p. So I picked it up and it's got five episodes on it. My Kingdom for Azif. What is the, what is the enemy called in that? If anyone can remember what the enemy the lady is called in the Terrahawks, then let me know. So I'm actually going to watch that soon. I'm really going to enjoy that one. So for 50p, I thought I can pick it up. I did check the disc and it was a little bit scratched, but I've never seen that about. So I thought, well, why not take, why not take that? Uh, I picked up another classic 80s movie that for some reason appeals to teenage boys <laughs> and that is uh, Weird Science. Uh, so I picked that up there too, so that's great. I, I think I think most of you know what Weird, Sci Weird Science is. Kelly Brock and uh, two, uh, you could call them geeks, uh, decide to try and make a woman and they make Kelly Brock and it changes their whole lives on there. So there you go. Bill Pullman's in this as well. Uh, I'm pretty sure you guys have seen that one, but I say let's have a look at the release. So yeah, I'm going to keep the digital code for this one. I think the perfect 30th anniversary to Weird Science. There you go. <laughs> Wonder if it's got any extras that I've never seen on the TV. Oh yeah, it's from John Hughes as well, isn't it? That's interesting. I didn't know that. It doesn't look like there's many extras on it, but I'm very happy to pick that one up too. And let's say lastly, I was in HMV the other day. I think the prices in HMV aren't the greatest anymore. But I managed to pick up this, which I thought was a bargain. And that's the three set of Mel Gibson's Signs. I think it must be the M. Night Shyamalan collection, because he's done all three of these films. Signs, The Sixth Sense, and Unbreakable on there. So I wanted to watch Unbreakable before I watched Glass, which I've still not seen yet. I've seen Split, but I really want to visit Unbreakable again before I before I uh, I, I watch Glass on there. Uh, so that was good. Pick that one up too. I'll leave that one sealed, I think, for now. And out of the box sets I seen yesterday, I wanted to get there was more. I was actually going to go back today, but the shop was closed. Uh, usually it's open on a Sunday. I picked up season one of Life, and uh, the reason I picked that up is I thought it looked pretty good. I've never seen that. The guy at Bandy Brothers and Homeland, what's his name again? I actually can't remember. I'm sure that was shocking. My memory is terrible. So I picked that up too, and again I paid 25p for that. Uh, so happy to have that. So I think I'll watch watch that one too. And to be honest with you, I think that's all I'll show you for all I'll show you for for now. I say the guilty pleasure movie, Moneyball. What do you guys think about Moneyball? Any use what any use watched it. What do you think of Brad Pitt's performance in it? I really enjoyed it. Let me know and uh, hope you enjoy hope you enjoyed the video. I know the budgies. I cannot keep them quiet when I'm filming the video. I'm very sorry. I'll next next time I'll we'll try and put a cover all over them during the day. But there you go. So I'll leave you guys to it and uh, thank you for watching. I appreciate all my new subscribers. Oh, one last thing. Just to remind you, if you don't know already. M me and Pete, Blu-ray Bullet Brett, I'll put the link to his channel in, the, co in the, the description, are doing an Easter giveaway competition. Check out his video and see what, uh, we'll see what, what uh, uh, prizes are in there. So you have to be a subscriber to me and him and befriend him on Facebook. And if you do that, you can enter the draw and you'll see there's a decent set of prizes for, prize for, prizes for that. So take a look if you fancy that and uh, join in. Appreciate all my new subscribers as well, as well as my, my previous ones. Thanks for sticking with me. Hope the budgies don't put you off too much. And thanks for watching, guys.